All right, Pat and Alona, a date has been set no later than April 2026. That's when NASA plans to launch the Artemis 2 mission. Yeah, so this is the next step in the journey back to the moon and then on to Mars. If you're just joining us, our Jacob Rascone live at Johnson Space Center this morning. Jacob, good morning. How's it going? Good morning. This is as promised. The mock up of the Orion capsule sits on top of the rocket. This is where they will be. It's where they'll be in space. And remember this Artemis mission, this is about not just going back to the moon for the first time in more than 50 years, but establishing a presence there, not just planting a flag, but staying there. And the beginning to remind everyone of the Artemis missions really was Artemis one that launched a few years ago. Take a look. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1, we rise together back to the moon and beyond. That's what it is, back to the moon and beyond. Let's step in closer, John, and you can show in there as long as you're not going to fall here. Man, they spend a lot of time in here. The four astronauts chosen to go around the moon on this next mission are going to spend today alone six hours inside there. You know they have to get real close and they start in here every week. Now, remember, this is a mission that has been delayed, but this time NASA says they have figured out all the things they need to figure out. And you already said no later than April of next year, but actually it is as early as next February. So right now is the big game day preview before they're in their final stretch of training, which will be here in Colorado and at Kennedy Space Center before what is also part of a new space race as NASA has said we want to beat China back to the moon. So when we're coming up, I'm actually going to go inside of this coming up later in the show. Alona and Vivon, back to you. Mm. Love it. Can't wait to see that. Well, it is an exciting time in Space City. We will check back in with you all morning, Jacob, on air and during our streaming newscast on KHOU 11+. Yeah.